Hello. Let's take a look at uh, access keys in AWS account. So we got uh, a bunch of IAM users and each IAM user can have an access key defined. And each access key has two parts. One is the key ID and the other one is the secret key. It's like uh, user ID and password. And these are long-term credentials that you can use this access key ID and secret key in your programs using SDK and API calls, you can access AWS resources and, and manage. So if you want to do programmatically, you need an access. So you go into the particular IAM user and create those access keys and uh, manage. So there is a one property here. There will be, you know, it will maintain the number of days since the access key is created. So it's a good recommendation that you rotate these keys after every 90 days or 30 days, whatever the appropriate thing. And then you can take these actions, activate, deactivate, and delete operations you can choose on any and any access key. Uh, so this is a general concept. Whenever you are using APIs of any integration that you are doing with your application, the, the API provider generally provides you an access key and a secret key so that you could integrate in your programs. So that's a general concept and it's very simple, straightforward concept, but do not create for root user an access key. It's not a recommended. It will work if you want to use root user access key and secret key to do actions on, on your AWS account, but it's not recommended. Why? Because the root access has full capabilities and uh, you're providing a long-term credential. And if these keys are compromised, then uh, it would be a breach um, and it's not a good uh, security mechanism in place in your organization. All right, that's all I have for today. Take it easy. Bye.